So we talked about any, which is sort of like a string of or statements, true or true or true or false or false or true. That's going to give us true. So if any of those are true, we're going to get true out of it. Now we're going to talk about all, which is sort of like any's cranky older brother or something, where instead of or statements chaining everything together, right? Uh, it would be more like and statements. So we could say true and true and true and false. Now if I were to print this, I don't think we'd be too surprised to see false, right? Because that operation will yield a false. And if I take this and abstract it, or you know, put it into a list, and I'll replace the ands, and we'll just do that. And this is just some bool list. I'm just going to name it list because I'm going to add other values into it. Um, if I print any of this, then are any of these true? Well, yeah. There's something true in here. So we get true. Are all of them true? It's nice because this is, it's like good semantics, right? Uh, we've chosen words. Python is cho has words that have been chosen that actually reflect good human logic um, in the way that we understand it. So all of, all of these have to be true in order for all to return true. And we'll be able to see that in this case. Now, re recall, right, an empty string is false. So if I throw an empty string in here or I throw a none in here, um, you know, we're going to get a false, a false response. Now, why would you want to use this? This is, uh, is going to come up a lot in your data munching, where you are curious whether or not there is a missing value. And, you know, we might want to think about those missing values as being empty strings. We might want to think of those empty, uh, those missing values as being none, uh, a none type of some sort. And you won't be doing that in base Python necessarily. You'll be using some other, you know, you'll be using NumPy or pandas in order to discover NAs or missing values. Um, that said, the all function is going to be useful. You might be able to apply it across uh, something that's been converted to a list, or maybe you're pulling data in, and you're pulling it in these uh, collections or in these list chunks, and you want to make sure that every list chunk, every sample, let's say every list is a sample, you want to make sure that there's good data in every one of those samples, and maybe you just throw away uh, any list that returns false when you call all upon it, right? So you can think of all as being a way to discover missing values. That's, that's a good context to consider it. Um, you can also just think about it in terms of what we see here. Is everything truthy in this list? No, it's not. Uh, we have a falsy value in there, and all will discover that. 